Hey guys, Cindy A. Lewis, and I'm back today with a waterfall card making kit. I bought this kit some time back, and I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how to make a card. And then if you wanna buy the kit, of course, it's from Crafters Companion, but you can use the pattern to make your own waterfall uh, cards. So this is really neat, and I think you'll enjoy learning how to make the waterfall cards they're so cute so first i want to say thank you for joining me on my channel today and if you're not a subscriber i invite you to subscribe to my channel and come back and watch other videos with me as i upload uh, dollar tree hauls or um, other shopping hauls or even diys so let's get started with this card making kit Okay, so first you get, with this kit, you get an, an instruction sheet that shows the nine steps in creating your cards. And then you get these various cards to create your uh, cards. So you get four of each of the six designs so you can make 24 cards with this kit alone. So we're gonna just pick one and let me show you how easy it is to make a waterfall card. Okay, step one is to pop out all your pieces. So I'm gonna pop all of these out and put them on my workspace. Okay, step two is to take your card and you fold it and the waterfall mechanism, which is this piece, and then you burnish the score lines. Okay, so after you folded your cards, now you can use these cards either way, if you like it better this way, and that can this can be your inside, or you can do this as the outside, whichever way you like. Well, we'll just do it this way this time. All right, so then you fold your waterfall mechanism, and then you crease on all these little fold lines, and you make sure that you fold them nicely. So you fold it in half first. Now, of course, you can use pictures or whatever you want to use, but in the kit, you can use the pictures that come with it, the little um, already cut pictures. So I'm going to take the first one, and I'm going to put it at the top of the fold right here. I'll just put a little adhesive and tape it down like that. Now, the first thing that you want to do is fold it back like this, and then you're going to put the next one here. So we're going to put the adhesive there. Now you can decorate these more than this, but the kit is really cute just the way it is. And then we'll put this one here. And then fold the last one right here. And make sure I got it in right place it looks right and flows right did I get it too far up there we go all right so then when you you can see that when you pull it it's gonna pull it one at a time all right okay once you have all those down then you're gonna t open it back up and you're gonna take your uh, holding strip here that's gonna hold it down and you're gonna glue it here we're going to glue it here on the very end like this should be in the middle right then you're going to flip it over and you're going to put glue on this side and adhesive on this side you're going to take it and you're going to put it on your Hard, like this and then when you pull your waterfall your pictures will show like that so it's pretty easy 
we're gonna um, you know adhere like heartfelt thanks or happy birthday and decorate the card up a little bit just like this and then maybe put another little picture on here this little cupcake is so cute Ooh, if I don't stick it to my own workspace like that and then you have the cutest little card that opens like that and then you can use this as a pattern to make your own cards and you can even decorate this up more with uh, embellishments or dies or open it differently and use it use it completely differently so let's do one more and I'll just show you once more how we do it okay once again step one is to punch out all your little pieces your die cuts from your sheet then you fold your card in half whichever you want to be the front and whichever you want to be the inside and then you just burnish your score lines like that then you take your uh, waterfall mechanism and you're going to fold on all these score lines so you're going to fold it in half and then you're going to fold each one of these score lines just like that and if it's not good enough make sure that you uh, burnish those score lines as well all right now first thing you do fold it in half we're going to go a little bit faster here you're going to take your first picture and you're going to adhere it to the very top whichever way let's do it i can't tell which is the top just that way all right let's see make sure i'm not off camera here all right so that's the first one. Then you fold that one back and you're gonna put the second one on there. Let's see if we're just not scored quite right. Here we go. And then we'll take the second one and adhere it here. Then fold that one back and put the next one here. Fold that one back, and then you put the last one here. Which are the cute shoes? Love it. Okay, here we go. So when you fold them, it's going to be like that. All right. Now, open it back up. Take your holding strip, and you're going to adhere it to the center at the top. You're gonna take it and put it right there. Oop, right there. A little bit off center there. Let me get it just right. All right. Now, whenever you pull it, it's gonna hold like that. Now, flip it over, and you're gonna adhere here and here. And once you have your adhesive there, you're going to put it on your card, line it up wherever you want it, just like that, and adhere it down. And when you pull this lever, it will be a waterfall card. Isn't that the coolest thing? I just love it. And then take your sentiments or your embellishments and add them however you want. They give you extra so you don't have to hear all of them. Okay, so here are the four cards that I made tonight. They're really cute. I hope you enjoyed watching this waterfall card making and seeing how easy it is. And then you can make your own just from the kit itself. So if you want more information, let me know and I'll help you out with that. And thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon.